You can borrow that. And you can borrow those. You can also borrow these. But can you borrow this? <laughs> Men can say what they want about their bits, but the uterus is pretty dang tough. And that makes sense. After all, it allows a human being to grow inside another human being. While not every woman dreams of feeling nauseous or carrying 30 extra pounds or having to constantly pee, a lot of women do. But one in 500 women struggle with what is called absolute uterine factor infertility. And that is when there's something wrong with the actual uterus, uh, that it's either missing from birth, you have lost it in hysterectomy due to benign reasons or malignant reasons, so it's not possible for the uterus to contain a pregnancy. Well, not without a little help. Meet Dr. Lisa Johannesson and Dr. Giuliano Testa. They are two of only a handful of doctors around the world who perform uterine transplants, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's taking the uterus of a donor and uh, transplanting the uterus in a recipient. It can be performed uh, with a living donor or a diseased uh, donor and allows a woman uh, uh, to experience pregnancy. But how easy is it to swap a uterus? Turns out, not so easy. Both the recipient and donor undergo transplant surgeries that last about five hours each. Then you have the, the process where you, you have to make sure that the uterus is viable. And if it's viable, they try to implant an embryo via IVF. But the surgeries don't end there. Unlike in other organ transplants, the uterus is only allowed to stay in the recipient for five years. The removal is important so that the recipient does not have to take immunosuppressive drugs for the rest of her life. If you are keeping score, that's at least 12 months and two to five invasive medical procedures. With this kind of commitment, patients aren't lining up for this elective experimental procedure, right? Yeah, you would be surprised. There's a lot of interest, both from the donor side, as I mentioned previously, but also from recipients. There's several hundred women calling in and wanting to be a part of this. To me, why wouldn't you try to help somebody? And to never have a period again, that's just a bonus. Taylor has two boys. For Taylor, pregnancy became a bonding experience once she could feel her baby move. It's a completely different thing when you start feeling them kick and feeling them move. In 2016, Taylor donated her uterus to another woman. It's something that only women get to do, right? And so there's just something special about being able to, to carry another life and bring that life into, into the world. In the U.S., the surgery is only being done in clinical trials at the Cleveland Clinic, University of Pennsylvania, and Baylor University. And worldwide, about 17 babies have been born via a uterine transplant, and more doctors plan to start their own trials. The potential success has the transgender community excited too. Can a uterus be transplanted to a biologically male body? At the moment, we are focusing on restoring a body function that was supposed to be there in a female and uh, not creating a new one, but that can change. This all sounds complicated, and you're probably thinking, why do we need this surgery when other options to parenthood are available? The last cornerstone in infertility that we have not been able to cure is the uterine factor infertility. And for these women, they have traditionally been assigned to adoption or gestational surrogacy if they had an active child wish, or they had the option of just accepting their infertility. Theoretically, many things are possible and will be in the future that do not seem to be possible today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out our website for more great content. And don't forget to subscribe to Freethink.